Hello, I'm here today to show you Nano Stream Cloud. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the basics. Don't worry, there are plenty of robust features to explore at a later time. Let's get started. First, we will need to log on. We can use the Bintu account that we created in the previous streaming video. In this video, we are using the Nano Stream Cloud 2022 release. This is important because it may look a bit different, as well as offer new features like stream groups which we will be looking at in more detail. Now that we are logged in, we are greeted with the new Bintu dashboard. You will notice that there is a section labeled ready to stream with the edge. Within this section, there is a button to create a new stream. Let's go ahead and use this to create a new stream. On the next screen, we are given the option to configure our transcoding profiles. These are used to generate a new stream group. In the past, each profile created a separate stream. With the new system, all of the profiles are within the same stream, which is called a stream group. It's important to note that the profiles should be configured from the highest quality to the lowest. For example, let's say the pass-through is 1080p. We simply lower the resolution of each profile by about 1.5%, which gives us three profiles, 720p at 30 frames per second, 480p at 30 frames per second, and 360p. Now that we have our transcoding profiles configured, Let's add a tag indicating the stream's use case. In this case, we are creating a video tutorial, so I am going to simply tag this stream as tutorial. Cool, we are now ready to create the stream. Congratulations! You have created your first stream group. To view the selected stream group, you can simply navigate to the stream section on the left side menu. Once there, select the stream group, and in the Adaptive Bitrate Profile section, you will see the transcoding profiles we created in the previous step. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more video tutorials in the future. Happy streaming!